Hey guys, what's up? This is Amir and you're watching Electrical Infinity. In this video, I'm going to teach you about ammeter and voltmeter connection in an electrical panel as well as its circuit diagram. So without any further delay, let's begin it. Before proceeding for ammeter and voltmeter wiring, let us discuss some of the important components we require for ammeter and voltmeter. So the most important component that is required for this is an instrument transformer and it consists of usually current transformer and a potential transformer. These transformers are used for measurement of voltage and current as well as its control. So the current transformer uh, uh, step down the current uh, and maintains the voltage as a constant. This is one of the most important component used in the ammeter for measuring current by uh, maintaining the voltage constant. It has two terminals S1 and S2 which is primary and secondary winding of a transformer. Now proceeding to ammeter circuit diagram, it has three main components. The first one is current transformer, second one is ammeter selector switch and the last one is digital ammeter. So as you can see, I am using a three phase four wire supply, RYB phases and a neutral and this is a 1250 ampere ACB and uh, this is ammeter selected switch and it has terminals RYB uh, to which the secondary terminal is connected and we have S1, S2 terminal also. Uh, in the ammeter we have uh, S1, S2 terminal and a phase neutral terminal which is an auxiliary supply. So here you can see I am using a three CTs. The S1 terminal of these three CTs is looped together RYB phases and is connected to S1 terminal of ammeter selector switch whereas the S2 terminal of R phase is connected to R terminal of ammeter selector switch and similarly S2 and ST of YB are connected to YB terminal of ammeter selector switch. The S1 S2 from the ammeter selector switch are connected to S1 S2 of ammeter whereas here the PN is auxiliary supply uh, 110 or 230 volt supply and a phase and a neutral is connected to this. So overall S1 terminals are loop and are connected to S1 terminal of ammeter selector switch. S2s are connected to their respective phase terminals RYB. And after that S1 S2 from ASS is connected to S1 S2 of ammeter and an auxiliary supply is given. The ratings of the CT current transformer mostly depends on the load. And in the next video I will be discussing the standards and calculation of current transformer. So wait for that video. Whereas the ammeter selector switch and ammeter display remains the same. Let us take this panel as an example. In this panel, I am using an ammeter with ammeter selector switch for measuring transformer current and a voltmeter with voltmeter selector switch and this second ammeter is used for measuring the current across the changeover switch. So, And also in this panel, I have used a RYB phase indicators. This is 250 by 5 ampere current transformers connected to transformer bus bar for measuring transformer current and this is the second set of CTs connected to changeover bus bars. The three S2 terminals of current transformer is connected to RYB terminals of ammeter selector switch and these terminals are E10, E50, E30 as tagged here and uh, the S1 terminal of the current transformer is connected to S1 of this and the S1, S2 terminals from this ammeter selector switch is connected here to S1, S2 terminal of this ammeter here you can see on the right side which is 5 ampere AC whereas this is an auxiliary supply a single phase is given and uh, this is a 240 volt supply with a neutral connected to it. Similar connections are followed for second ammeter which measures this changeover current. Now focusing on voltmeter wiring, for example we are using a 3 phase 4 wire supply with a 630 ampere MCCB and we are using a voltmeter selector switch and it has RYB terminal and V and N terminal. Similarly on voltmeter we have VN terminal which is a 50 to 480 volts AC supply and an auxiliary supply of 240 volts AC. Here in this R phase is connected uh, with the help of a 6 ampere single pole MCB to the R terminal of voltmeter selector switch similarly Y phase and a B phase. Whereas the voltmeter selector switch VN terminal are connected to VN terminals of voltmeter and to the LN terminal a single phase and a neutral is connected for auxiliary supply. So generally we require three components for voltmeter wiring. First one is a voltmeter selector switch. Second one is digital voltmeter. And the third one is a circuit breaker for protection. 
Overall, the RYB faces are connected to RYB terminals of voltmeter selector switch and the VN terminal from this voltmeter selector switch which are called as K1, K2 is connected to VN of voltmeter selector switch and to the auxiliary supply a single phase and a neutral is connected. Let us now practice this wiring practically. So in voltmeter wiring, I am using a 3 6 ampere single pole MCBs for RYB and connecting it to 3 indicators for RYB indication. From this, the 3 phases RYB are looped from these indicators and are connected to RYB terminals of a voltmeter selector switch. Here you can see RL, YL and BL. And here you can see the K1, K2 which are S1, S2 are connected to VN terminal of this voltmeter which is 50 to 480 volts AC supply and this is auxiliary supply a single phase and a neutral is connected to this. So that's all in this video guys hope you have found this video very useful share this video with your friends like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel electrical infinity thanks for watching